welcome back to Colette's Marine Tank. Um, today I'm just doing another unboxing video um, and this one is with my Burger Online um, nudie ranks. Um, so they are going in to try and battle the Aptasia. Um, last night I did a complete rip down of the tank, took everything out, all my rock work and tried to um, squirt lemon juice in the centre of every single Aptasia's mouth. There is hundreds in there and a lot of them are massive a lot bigger than a 50p um pence coin so i am not sure whether or not these burger nudie brands are actually going to do um much of a job but i have tried um at Tasia eating foul fish i have tried copper band which i couldn't keep in the tank because of um king george my purple tank he attacked the copper band um i have tried nudie brands before but when i tried them before i did have a ras and um, so I couldn't continue because I knew that they weren't going to do anything because the wrasse was going to eat the nudies. I no longer have the flesh of wrasse, um, so I thought this is the best time for me to now get some more nudies. Um, and I also tried three peppermint shrimp. Um, I have not seen any difference since adding the peppermint shrimp and that was months ago. Um, so, yeah. Remove the peppermint shrimp and I'm going to try out these nudie ranks. So, I ordered from a place called Burger Online. Um, a lot of people have used this site, so I had it well recommended, um, and I contacted them to ask um, if I could order quite a lot of them. So, I don't have a discount code for you all, um, but I can recommend if everything goes well with them. Um, so I will keep you all up to date if everything went well and also if they did anything um, for the tank as well. Um, so in the eight that I've ordered, there's quite a big jar in here. It comes with a instruction card, which is great. So it does say peppermint shrimp pose a big risk to the burger nudie brank. They are known to enjoy hunting burger, especially at night which is when the burger come out. We recommend taking any peppermint shrimp out of the tank. They, e they are easily removed using a bottle trap um, constructed from a plastic bottle. If you search on Google, you should be able to find some information on how to do this. It basically involves cutting the top off the bottle and inverting it back into the bottle, gluing it in place and put some food inside the bottle, then leave it in your tank and wait for the shrimp to get stuck inside. Okay, so that is um, one of the recommendations. Um, it also says how long will it take. This depends on how many Aptasia you have. So I have hundreds. So, and also depending on the amount of burger nudibranchs that you've also bought. And you should notice a difference within a month. However, it may be longer. Um, you're also unlikely to see them during the day. Once they have multiplied in your system, they really start to acclimate. Um, sorry eliminate should i say the aptasia fast and um, the key here is patience so nice little card it also gives you quick tips before you start and um, so just to read those out it says be careful when opening the lid they will often climb up and um in there for shelter shake the jar gently to dislodge them if they have acclimatize the burger as you would with any other coral or fish over a 30 minute period this is best done by slowly taking out water out of the jar and replacing it with your tank water. So I right now have set up a little um, Tupperware, I'm hoping you can see this on the camera. Small little Tupperware, I'm already drip acclimating some of my water into that and um, ready to add the jar into that water. Um, so I'm going to do that over a 30 minute period and time as I always do. It does say here it's best to turn off the lights before um, placing the burger in the tank and leaving them off for at least an hour to minimise stress, which I will also do. Um, my plan is to actually add them a little bit later on tonight um, because I don't want them to be out whilst the lights are on um, just for the first night because I don't want anyone else in the tank trying to hunt or, or eat them in any way. Because um, you never know, different things eat different. Um, types of animals. Um, okay, so turn off the flow, leave it off for 15 minutes when the burger are placed in the tank. 
Use the included pipette to move the burger. Do not scrape them off the side with it as it will harm them. Until they naturally dislodge, they may inquire a few constant blows of water. Then catch them with a pipette. Place the burger onto higher live rock if possible and avoid placing near any bristle worms. Eee. I have a lot of bristle worms, so I'm really hoping that they don't do anything to the burger. That's annoying. I have quite large um, bristle worms I noticed last night when I was doing the tear down, but there's not a chance I got rid of probably half of them. Anyway, the last but not least, you can take the lid off and place the whole container into the tank and leave overnight for them to move out themselves. This is the safer and easier option. So that's at least another good thing to know. Um, right, I'm just going to open this. Okay, so I'm going to take them out of this little jar now. Sorry, that I meant to say I'm going to take the jar out of the um, box. Yeah, so removing the wire tape. And then, let's see if I can see any to show you. They're right at the bottom, these guys. Let's hit this. No, it's not going to focus, is it? Um, just checking that everything's still moving. Yeah, I can see quite a few of them still moving, so that's good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then potentially one in the lid. I'm not sure. I'm not sure, I'll have to have a little look. Right, and then yeah, it's let's shake the jar to gently dislodge. Yeah, I've just counted eight now. <sighs> there we are. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to remove them from this jar, or potentially I'll put the jar, yeah, I'll do this instead. I'll put the jar inside the Tupperware that I've got and I'll drip acclimate into that. I'm gonna set my timer now for 30 minutes um, and I'll let you know, guys, when I'm adding them. Okay, also completely drip acclimated now. Um, I've left them in here and um, drip acclimating with my water for 45 minutes. Um, it is slightly longer than they do suggest, so they suggest 30 minutes, um, but I've done it for 45 minutes and um, yeah, they seem very happy. They've all rose to the very top um, of the pot. So I'm now going to leave the pot inside the tank um, for um, overnight so that they can get out themselves and um my tank lights are off um so i've left them and they're going to be off now for the night um and yeah i guess we will hopefully see if there is any changes um in the tank wish me luck guys because this is my last kind of last thing that i can do before i have to take out all the rock and start again um, but the only problem with that is that most of my corals are infused into the rock work, so it would mean having to essentially lose some of my corals as well. But yeah, here we go. <laughs> 